We are live. Hello, whether you are live or on the replay, thank you for joining me. We are going to flip through Simply Good and Beautiful Math Level 1. I have Level K and Level 2 on my channel already. The playlist is linked in the description box for you. So we're just going to fill in a gap by covering Level 1. And we'll go through the course book and the math box. And then this course actually comes with its own individual whiteboard. So we're just going to hop into those. Set these aside. If we haven't met yet, hi there. I'm Elaine from On the Same Page Together. We are a Christ-centered home of learning, and on this channel, we talk about all things family. We like to share what works for us as we strive to encourage you on your journey in life and family. All right, this course has a total of 120 lessons, as the course assessments are broken up into two lessons based on need, and there are three units. Unit one, I have these all listed out in the description box for you, what is covered in each of the units, but this is lessons one through 40. Oh, that's so cute. Now I have a kiddo who did level one in the older version and is doing level two in the this newer version. And that kiddo really enjoys the difference from the older to the newer one. I really enjoy this newer version. And even still with this newer version, it is still, it's simpler and less, but we will still modify the work based on my child's mastery. I won't make them do too much of the review. If they have mastered a skill, maybe they can pick one or so on and so forth from there. But if it's a skill they haven't mastered yet, they get to do the whole section of the review. I really like how they come back and cover things that they've learned before. And if at any point you need me to speed up or slow down, there is a little settings button in the bottom right hand corner that you can click on and adjust my speed to fit what you need. These little, it's like they're like the daily dose if you did the older one, the older version, but I wonder if it's been gone so long that there might, you might not have done it looking at this one, but they're just kind of a little review of a bunch of different concepts that your child should know at this point. And so they're there um, if your kiddo, need, well, should be mastering at this point, I guess. They're not expected to have perfected these, but they're good review items that you can work on. And if, you know, you do what works for your kiddo, I like to occasionally review ones that I know they've mastered and then just skip them if they come up again too soon. Never feel boxed in by your curriculum. It may be beautiful and it may be perfect for your family, but that doesn't mean that it being perfect for your family doesn't still have accommodations and adjustments within it that you need to make. I do also have the brand new level one course book already filmed and in the description box linked for you. So here's how the course assess the unit assessments work. The course assessment is the same, I believe, but you will have your student do the top portion, not the orange portion of each section. So they're only doing half of the page. And then as you go through and correct it, if there are sections that they'll tell you based on what grading requires you to check and need additional practice. And then that's where the next lesson, that's lessons 39 through 40. So 39 would be the assessment. And then if any boxes need additional practice, that would be lesson 40 for them as they would go through and do all of those. And if they're still struggling, that's a sign that you need to go back and review the concept maybe before going forward.
I do love that they put so much on the page here for them. The coins were all on there, I saw. That makes a lot less hunt and peck from the previous version. Again, I did the previous version of this level, so I'm having a little bit of a comparison moment with that since this is the first time I've seen this one. And we, we loved it. We loved that previous level. It, You know, my kiddo enjoyed math and got through it. But this one is just it's better. We just like this one better. We're excited to do it. If you have any questions while we're flipping through it, feel free to ask them. I will also do a little opportunity for Q&A at the end. And if you're on the replay, feel free to drop in a question in the comments at any point. I am always happy and honored to be able to help you out in any way that I can answer any questions that I'm able to. So here's an assessment. Lesson 79 will be that top purple. And if any additional practice is needed, that's needed, that will be lesson 80. Oh, that's cool. grams in these reviews. I have a feeling those are going to be in the box. Ooh, with some little boats it looks like. This I love that the ruler is built in. That's it. So nice. And they truly do learn so much. Even if you feel like these lessons are short, sometimes I'm like, oh my gosh, really? We're already done with the lesson and moving on to the review. But again, there are things that I have to, that I choose to cross out of the review for my kiddo because they have mastered those concepts. That they've learned in this course so it's pretty great the more time we can free up for them to play the better right much prefer that play time but we got to sit down and learn sometimes too All right, course assessment. Yep, you have 19 and 20, 119 and 120. You're going to do the oral assessment. And then if they need additional practice. And it gives you all those instructions right here. Like if they're ready to move on to the next course or not based on the result of this assessment. And no appendix. That's my favorite part. Okay, let's take a look at the math box. So like I said earlier, this math box comes with a personal whiteboard. Um, I don't know that it comes with a marker though. So it looks like this math box. I'm not gonna lie, it's big. I am 90% sure it's bigger than the level two one. I know it's bigger than the level K one. The level K one's like a, a tiny baby little one. It's so cute. But I'm pretty sure this is bigger than level two. So you have some wooden dice that have this looks like directional left, right, left, right, and then a six sided dice. Some coins, which I really wish would have been included in the level K box because level K needs coins, but that's okay. I mean, if you have multiple levels, you can borrow some from another one. Little wooden boat, 2D little wooden boats that have numbers on them so they are probably used for different types of activities some that probably include the numbers and some that probably just include 
the boats. And then we have, oh, wooden clocks. They're going to have different times on them and they're double sided. That's clever. And then we have some, oh, magnetic. Okay. We have some tangram pieces and then just some wooden shapes in here. I love that they're magnetic, so we're going to use this to build those on. That's awesome. That's so cute. I love that. And they're colorful, and they are wood. All of these are wood pieces. This has magnets on the back, but those are all wood pieces. These are all wood pieces. This is your bit of plastic, which are plastic coins. That makes sense. All right, I am excited to do this with my kiddo who is doing a level K right now, working through it at their own pace. And this is going to be fun. All right, if you have any questions live or on the replay, I'm always here to answer them. I don't think I covered real quick that this has a clock that they can show you the time on for those bits. I am going to hop back off and then hop right back on as soon as I can to do another math level that will fill in a gap um, of the math levels that I have on my channel to fill out that playlist. So I hope this was helpful for you and I'll see you in a few if you're interested in checking out level three.